From violent crime to petty theft, the Hundred Circle Park has seen its fair share of problems. The people who are most excited for change are those who live nearby. And as 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga explains, a major transformation could soon begin, but some have been waiting on it for a long time. Shakela? Well, Brian and Denise Huntridge Circle Park is near Charleston and Maryland Parkway, and it has a troubled history, but the developers behind the historic Huntridge Theater want to bring the Huntridge Circle Park back to life. They have 11 months left to get it right. Such great potential. It's nearly three acres right in the middle of the Huntridge neighborhood. The Huntridge Circle Park remains closed. But if you sit here long enough, you'll find a few people idling inside. We've uh, enjoyed the park uh, for many, many years, up until a couple of years ago. Kathleen Carr Desposito lives nearby. She's seen the ups and the downs for some 30 years. She's excited to see an art exhibit here instead. It was not a park that was um, usable for the neighborhood. The park became a popular spot for the homeless and drug users. Last year, a man who reportedly frequented the area broke into a nearby home. He beat and robbed an elderly woman. I think it, it brought everybody out of their houses and kind of into the streets in a talking to each other way. Developers plan to reopen the park in two phases, which will include a new children's area and a sculpture garden. They hope to, hope to put in a bunch of uh, sculptures to give a, a sort of interactive experience for visitors to the park. But we're going to do everything we can. We're going to keep rolling our sleeves up and getting to work to, uh, to bring this park back to life. The developers are currently working to fundraise for the site, and if all goes as planned, it'll open next October. Brian? Shikayla, thank